<clears throat> All right, so welcome back to another game of my US Go Congress review series. This was a game on day four of the US Open. Uh, this was against actually a Massachusetts uh, resident named Chan Ho Park, strong Korean uh, player, plays in some of the local clubs there. Uh, around in, I think he plays at the Boston Go Club. Um, but very nice guy. And uh, in this game, I was black. So uh, I played three fours. Again, I was kind of feeling, I don't know, feeling a little more territorial. Uh, and actually, this 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 was the day after the Die Hard uh, tournament, which I'll I want to show a few of those games as well, because uh, I did quite well. I kind of went undefeated in that tournament. Um, but anyway, I I, I kind of I just played a whole lot of Go the day before, and so I was feeling a little more reclusive for whatever reason. <laughs> just feeling feeling calmer and more more territorial, which is totally fine. So anyway, we attach here, or sorry, we don't attach. We approach here. And uh, he surprises me and approaches my own corner. So everyone's just destroying everyone. And I'm actually okay with it because black, and again, normally black wants to build big things. Uh, like I, like you saw me try to do in the previous video. Because I opened dual 3-4, I think this is, this is expected and totally fine and is the plan. Uh, so I play here and just, <laughs> again, sort of continue the territorial strategy. Uh, this move is a mistake. This move... Uh, it's really not necessary for black, um, especially since it ruins this Aji later. Um, yeah, I I was corrected. I forgot who I showed this game to. I, I, I showed it to a professional player. Um, I think it was Andy Liu. Sorry, Andy Liu. Yeah, I think the, the first uh, United States professional player. Um, Andy was very sweet, actually. So there was a so Andy, Andy was doing a bunch of like demos and stuff. Like he he played the Dark Forest bot in like a three stone game and did some exhibition games. And he you know he was playing in in the um, the Masters tournament as well. Uh, but he was also scheduled to do some game reviews. And and uh, there's one game review session that I think it was yeah it was during it was when um, the second Alpha Go talk was happening. And so like half the Congress was was at the talk with Fan Hui and. Um, Aja Huang, and they already they already already did the uh, the opening ceremony keynote, um, which I believe is now on YouTube. So you guys should go watch it um, on the US Go Web channel if you want to go see some of that stuff. If you guys are Alpha Go fanatics, um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> Andy was scheduled to do a game review session during that time for for uh, you know upper don level players, and he showed up. and The only people there were me and Jonathan Hop because I just oh, I wanted to just get my game reviewed quickly and then head out. Um, Andy was really bummed though that he was scheduled for a uh, a game review session while the AlphaGo talk was going on. So he agreed to give us each a, a private review session later on um, for canceling the two you know canceling on the two people that showed up to the review session. I mean, no one was there anyway, so it was it was a pretty good deal. Um, so anyway, this move uh, is is not really necessary right now. Again, white's shape is very thin. Black's not in any trouble. Um, just playing this extension, not that one, this extension move would just be fine if I want to do this right now, or probably even better, um, at least according to Andy, is to actually come back up here and play in this in response to this corner. Um, but I do make this exchange and finish the Joseki um, and let white <laughs> approach another corner. And so, with this, actually, and actually, Andy really liked how this opening went for Black minus this exchange. Like he thought the rest of this is, um, rel at least at his level. I mean, relatively high level. Um, Andy Lou, for those of you who don't know, is, is very, very strong. I mean, effectively, he's like, like nine to ten donish in the AGA system. Not that AGA goes up that high, but very strong player. He's 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 won a number of exhibition games in uh, in Asia now. He's been traveling. Um, to play games in more competitive countries, and uh, you know he's having a go career. He's also going to be, you know, spoiler alert, a little bit of one of the stars of the upcoming Go film, The Surrounding Game. If you don't know anything about that, look it up. It's coming out real soon. Um, I don't know exactly the date for when it will actually happen, but it's real soon. Um, so do go out and see it. Uh, it it looks really good, and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it follows the story of um, basically establishing the U.S. professional system as well as this, the U.S. Um, celebrating, you know, you know, go inside the U.S. and, and 
Um, is also probably a really good film to show your friends and family who don't really know what Go is and to uh, give them a little more understanding about what it is and what it's like and, and make them excited for it too. Anyway, uh, White played here. I think this move, I don't like this move for White. I think this is a bad move in this case. I think White, if White wants to continue locally, I think this is better. And uh, Andy kind of agreed. He, th he thought this was playable. Uh, so now I get to respond in this corner. And the problem is that uh, at this point, um, White sort of tanukis to not finish the corner. And I should probably cut here. Um, but in the end, um, I think it's tanuki it's big enough to come back and, and play down here. And actually, Andy agrees with this. Andy, Andy says this is, this is perfect and, you know, cutting is big, but this is much more important to the global health of the game. White makes a few bad exchanges. And, uh, actually, again, the professional player, he thought this was actually a little bit slack. But then he saw the continuation here, how White's still uncomfortable, and he said, oh, wait, that's actually perfect. And so he initially thought this would be, was going to be a stronger result, but the problem with this is that the shape you end up with here is, it's, it's a little bit more optimistic towards attacking, but it leaves attackable defects. So we debated this for a little while, but the conclusion was that this is actually a better result for black. Um, just because it makes you so much more solid. So, aha, I got to correct a, a nine don once per game. All right, good. Anyway, um, because... You know, Black had used uh, my sente, or I had used my sente to come back and uh, pressure this group. White decides that this is enough to uh, enough liberties to come back in Tanuki. And I'd heard that AlphaGo has been playing this move, or you know, played it in one of the Alpha, sorry, AlphaGo played it in one of the the games, and this was now a possible move. And so I just played it here, just just on inspirational whim. And I know I should play this. Like, there's no reason for me to. <laughs> play this, and I especially shouldn't play it with a white stone here. Like, this would be more acceptable if there was a white stone here instead. Uh, but this was just, like, random inspiration to play there. And it's a terrible idea. I shouldn't play it. <laughs> Oops, that's not the game. Because uh, white attaches immediately um, and just leaves this for later. Just builds builds the top. And so this is a game. I mean, this is actually... I mean, it's big, but it should never be big, right? Because... Black should have just played a more uh, safe move. Uh, you know, after this move, though, what, you know, Black comes with a Sente. White can get a lot of influence here at any time. Um, Black already has a lot of ser solid territory, and, uh, and White kind of has a weakish kind of group to attack later. So right now, I feel like I feel like Black is in a really good spot. Like, I feel very comfortable. I'm not really playing, like, my normal style. Um, I have a little bit too much territory at this point to be considered... A game that I normally like playing, but you know, I have Sente, so I don't, and I like having Sente, especially if I don't have Sente and I'm and I'm black, I feel really bad. So, so of course we play the most natural move, and uh, Black plays this. This seems, it, I mean, this is good, right? Because because you know it's consistent, um, but it does it's, it is going to make this stone look uh, pretty pretty nice. Um, and I play this one, which is I think probably the best choice here. I mean, Andy didn't seem to think otherwise. I could just play this one. But White already has a stone here, and uh, it's not really clear how to proceed. I mean, this stone, I mean, this stone's not in a bad place, but it's not in a really nice place either, because it still leaves invasion points for White to split and attack, so... Uh, maybe it's not... Maybe... Anyway. We go further. Um, and white play, in order to stay consistent, right, white has to play the, the bad shape one. If white plays this one, uh, you know, it feels like, you know, where's white going to make points now? This is just destroyed. This is all big white potential. It just now has very little. So white plays this one to keep the direction consistent, although the shape is worse for white. Whoops, skip to move. Let's use arrow keys. Uh, white takes the cut, which is best. This is, uh, I think, a mistake here. Even though it lets white build a little bit more, it makes the stone look really nice. Um, I don't know, maybe. Or actually, white would probably play this one in this case. Uh, play here, 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 
up here, here, and I don't know, maybe just there would be really solid. Maybe that's over concentrated, but at least it'd be very optimistic, right? White would have, uh, white, 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 white will have gotten what white intended to get. Uh, so, but anyway, this, uh, maybe it's not that optimistic. I guess the problem, right, right, sorry. If I go back to this, the conclusion is, yes, this all looks like it's consistent, but black already has a lot of territory. So it's really dangerous. And quite honestly, I think black can just play here and just reduce enough to win the game um, from this pretty safe distance, but that's more of a guess. Okay, anyway, white plays this one because, again, this one doesn't give away nearly as much territory to black. And uh, white can start this fight within the sphere of influence. The problem is that black has a pretty solid corner and white has a lot of defects. And at this point, uh, white plays here and plays really all out aggressive. And I think this is a huge mistake. I think white just should just come out. <laughs> like this seems natural and expected. And pick a move, maybe this one. Um, the problem is, of course, that black is fine too. You know, if white just responds, like, black has no problem here. White does profit, but, again, white split up the side, has a stone here to help this group, maybe. I don't know. But either way, he went crazy. And, you know, this is like an older Korean gentleman who <laughs> seems to be a wonderfully sweet guy. But, man, just went all out shorting the liberties on this, this cutting group and gets himself into sort of a boatload of trouble. Because this turn, and you know, it leaves these cuts, it leaves this this Hane. So many defects in White's position that Black will find a way to punish somehow. And here he's still he's still going all out. Instead of playing this move, which is what he should do, <laughs> he plays here. And this not only and he, and I know what he's he's trying to short, keep the liberties on this Black group really short so he can get all this free forcing stuff, but. It also shorts his own group's liberties. And so we kind of handle this without any real problem. Take this Hane as natural. We just fix shape, see if he'll let me come back and have time to split or cut or just get out. Comes back and fixes <clears throat> the first cut. Um, but he has no time to do this, right? This is, I have a Tsuji here. Um, no matter what, he's, he's screwed, right? This is just killer. Because... Uh, this is how the game goes, and ta-da, one eye. Um, now he can play this move to surround, and I do actually respond, um, although I should actually look at this. If I just Tanuki now, let's say I play here. Um, uh, that one, mm, that one, maybe let's just, I guess that's bad. Maybe that one? Yeah, I don't think there's any way he can actually win this, right? Yeah, there's no way. Okay, so I really... Yeah, so I make a mistake by playing this move. I really don't need to play it, at least in that line. Maybe there's another line where it's better for him, but... I mean, there are ways that he can short liberties here, but I think I'm always one up, at least one up. You know, his group only has four, so. So this is actually kind of a slow move. This is this is a a move that just says, I've won the game, the game is over, please resign. Uh, because if white loses this wall, again, first wall, right, this is a nine stone wall, it's a pretty solid 20 points, plus another almost 10, almost 30 points here. Uh, a pretty solid 10, maybe more here, plus it's 45. Uh, this is another, you know, pretty solid 10 to 15. So we're close to 60 now, plus another 15, maybe more. 75 points. I mean, right now white has mm, 15 points here. Did I say 75 or did I say 70? Can't remember. Whatever it was, plus Comey. Um, I mean, whatever it is, white has to make that many points in the middle. And quite honestly, I thought he would resign here. So this is my please resign now move. Unfortunately, he doesn't. He tries this. 
And again, he's just, he's just trying to poke everywhere and build this, you know, 70 point middle. And he pulls back and I keep pushing. And I play this cut. I thought this cut was a good Tsuji, and maybe it still is. Uh, but basically it prevents him from pushing any further into my territory. And it lets me split this quite effectively. So I can't say if it was the best move, but again, I, I did use these two stones over and over again. I think, as you'll see, I think I record, we, we played a number of moves here. Um, he does play the sequence out that does let him seal this in. Uh, and then he plays another move here, right? And again, he has to save this group while building the middle, right? Only way, which is a lot to ask. So again, just keep pushing up here. Uh, I take this push. I don't really remember why. Um, and here, I sort of give him a chance to kill these two stones. And this would be a huge swing. Um, although, if he does, he's... I'm still eyeing this cut here. And he's going to lose, you know, all the points in here. Well, not all of them, but half the points. He does start to take the cut. I just ascend. Again, killing these two stones is going to go, be Gote for him. And he decides to come back and guard the bigger thing. And so I take the free Hane and just come back. Uh, because this group down here... The eye space is not clear. Yes, it might be able to link up here. Uh, and there's also still a cut here, though. So I'm just going to be able to, you know, play very solidly from here and uh, pressure this group and hopefully profit while doing so. And if we count here, let's just go one, two, three, four. This is up to 10, right? So we've got pretty clean 30 plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that's 40 plus 30, 70. So he has like 70 points total, like the entire game. So if I can just profit enough here, you know, I'll win by a small handful, no problems. Uh, he tries to make a little bit of trouble though. Again, I'm just sort of responding. This is a really big move. Actually, if he doesn't play this right, I can't give him all these points because Black just throws in an invasion anywhere in here. So that's a really big move, but of course, it lets me continue the attack here. And uh, poke through, make sure there's no points there. Well, actually, it turns out there are. <laughs> oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, pardon me. So actually, at this point, the game is close enough for him to keep going, although, you know, I, I still think Black has enough points. I find this move, though, and, uh, it's pretty killer. Because, number one, I'm threatening to connect up over here. Um, there is a Tsuji here that is actually quite dangerous for, for... Oh, let me go back to the move tool. Uh, there's also this move, which is pretty cool. If, Black can't cut right there immediately. Uh, so, if he runs out this way, though, there's this problem. <laughs> so, <laughs> really hard to say what's going to happen here, but uh, Black has a lot of resources available. Remember, anyway, he defends this side. And even, even if that doesn't quite work, perfectly. Black always has this too to make sure all this is destroyed, so. Uh, so he defends over here. And, but then we play this move. And he actually plays, I thought, a really good counter, which, uh, for some reason I didn't see when I played this jump move. Um, but the problem is it doesn't quite give him everything he wants, right? It lets him fix this defect. Uh, if, if you just look at the other more common ways to respond here, Right, of course, if he just connects, this gets cut, and I'm in over here. If he fixes this way, I can actually continue to push. And I can even Atari, and then come down this way. And this gets really scary for everyone, but especially white. Like, he might have to come back here and spend four liberties. Like, this would just be, whoops, you know, super simple variation. Um, or probably just this in this case, right? This is oversimplified, right? White probably does more damage over here, but Black just sneaks around this way. So I mean, there's a lot of things in here. Oops. But even after this wedge, there are still things in here uh, because of this honey. 
and he can capture a stone or two, but so can I. And now this black corner becomes huge, and effectively this all this had been reduced to. So anyway, uh, I think I didn't record much further because he resigned really quickly after this. What did he do? Oh yeah, he fixed there. Yeah, he still kind of owes me stuff over here. And I just played this as endgame. And now there's no, no nowhere near enough points for him to win. So anyway, I think, uh, you know, the game was pretty easy for me after this capture. Actually, it was very, actually, well, actually it was still tense. I feel like my opening was good, was pretty solid. Um, White was trying to do too many things, very busy. Um, leaving this weak group down here. This, of course, was a train wreck, and the game should have been over a long time ago. Of course, I should have probably never played that move, but it's my asking him to resign politely <laughs> kind of move. Uh, but I really, I don't know, I really enjoyed playing uh, <laughs> playing this move. So I wanted to show you guys that move. Even when you think there's nothing there, there's tons of things there. So anyway, that was... Uh, this was my second win in the U.S. Open, and I was very glad to have it. Uh, I was kind of sad the game. I mean, again, I I feel like I I kind of backed off playing well after I captured this. Um, definitely with a few slack moves, you know, over here and over here and over here. Um, basically just waiting for my opponent to resign. So, all in all, most of the game wasn't that exciting or that good after this happened. Um, but I did want to make it I did want to get to this point to show you this cool move, this combination with this, and then this peep. Um, because how I found this move, of course, is I find this peep first, and that's cool, and you say, okay, well, <laughs> what can this help let you do? Oh, makes this one work. So you sort of, you, you find these weaknesses, and then you sort of keep reading around them and seeing what other key points there are, and then you just throw a stone in on, you know, one of these other key points and make your opponent just, you know, scream in agony of not knowing how to deal with it because of the weaknesses. So anyway, that was a fun game. Uh, we'll continue this series for sure. I've got a few other games that uh, I'd like to show you, including probably maybe maybe the next game. I can't remember if it's... If it, I, I just downloaded them all in an order. I don't remember which... I didn't really label them. Um, so I'll have to... I don't know. Let's say I don't know which game I'm going to show you next. But it'll be a game. It'll be cool. So you should come back and watch it. So thanks for watching. <laughs>